G'day and welcome to this edition of Hyclopedia. This morning I am around 10 kilometers south of the town of Geraldton, which is still in Western Australia. And um, I'm just taking a stroll along this path. It's a, a riverside walk and it's 17 kilometers in length, although I'm not going to do all of it today because I just don't have the time. Um, and it's called the Greenock, Greenock River Trail. It's early morning, I just woke up. So right now it's about 5.30. So I thought I'd come and uh, check out this river trail. I've already seen quite a few pelicans and seabirds. It's quite pretty. It's nice and quiet. You can just hear the waves in the background. Yeah, so uh, let's go. nice walk if you're a birder and also if you happen to like sand fire that um, salty vegetable that always seems to be used on all those cooking shows because there is absolutely tons of it just growing alongside the river you know look at it it's a forager's paradise Well, that was an eventful first half an hour or so. I uh, started off down by the river. Didn't realize I wasn't actually on the right path. I only realized after I put the drone up and then I saw there was a path higher up to the river bank. So now I picked up that path and I'm gonna go for a uh, a bit more of a walk along the real trail. <laughs> Thank you. 
like most of the trails I've done on this trip, it's not a particularly tough or like a wilderness trail because you're always quite close to a town. In fact, the only true wilderness trail I wanted to do, which was the uh, the loop track in um, Kilbarry National Park, on the day I wanted to do it, it was closed because the temperature was like 45 degrees and it was just... Uh, you would not believe how hot it was. Yeah, so like any of the trails that I've done are suitable for the whole family. Although, I would recommend coming in a cooler part of the year if you're going to do hiking because right now the weather's really hot. It's December, the weather's really hot. And uh, unless you start really early on these trails, then it's not going to be fun. I mean, it's cool now, it's only about 20 degrees, but once the sun comes out, it's a minimum of 30. Can go up to, it's been going up to 40 in some places we've been to. So, uh, yeah, you need to be careful in the outback, mate. Other scenic spots near the trail include the enchanting leaning trees of Greeno, red river gums that grow horizontally due to the region's strong coastal winds. And if you're hungry after finishing the trail, then you should definitely make a beeline to Burnt Barrel Brubecue. Situated around a 30 minute drive to the north of Geraldton, it serves up mouth-watering barbecue fare and craft beer that is brewed on site. You will not be disappointed, although check the opening hours before heading over. I've come to the end of my little adventure on the uh, Greeno River Nature Trail. Um, probably been walking about 90 minutes. So I've done about five or six K, maybe seven, uh, just a return walk. It's been pretty nice. As I said, the whole walk is 17 kilometers. I didn't have enough time to do that today, but uh, the bit that I did do is uh, fun. So if you like this video, don't forget, thumbs up and also subscribe and if you'd like to see more click the notifications get the bell on and um, for info and details always check the links in the description and um, that's it from the Geraldton area we'll be heading south back down to Perth this afternoon or this morning and uh, we may see some more adventures from there so take it easy over and out